This is the second video showing you how to fix a, a dropped stitch. In this case though, we're going to be fixing a dropped stitch on garter stitch. Garter stitch is where you knit every row. The procedure is almost the same as the other one, same concept, but definitely different. If you need to find out more about what I'm talking about, you can look up the other video. Um, it will be called uh, How to Fix a Drop Stitch in Stockinette. Okay, so again, we're going to identify where the drop stitch is, and it's right here. I'm just going to pull one more out of there. So you need to know how to read stitches, too, in order to do this. I know I'm looking at the, the, the guy I have here on this little needle that was knitted because it's just like a, a, a head in there or two legs of a, a horseshoe shape. If it were pearl, it would have the little noose over it like this guy does. See the little noose over the head? Okay, that being said. All right, so in garter stitch, since obviously it's going to be every other one, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, and this is a knit, the first one I have to do is going to be a purl. So this has worked totally different than you worked it before because what you want to do is you're still working the horizontal um, bars in between, but you need to move the horizontal bar over the front of this drop stitch. Then instead of putting your needle into the front of the stitch like you do with stockinette, you go through the back of the stitch. So put your crochet hook into the back of the stitch and turn it over and grab the bar and pull it through. Now that just made a purl stitch. And how do I know? See the noose? Yay! So that was a purl, the next one's going to be a knit. Same way as we did before, I'll do it slow just in case somebody's watching and didn't watch the other one. So in order to do the knit stitch, you're going to go underneath the lowest bar, make sure you're grabbing the lowest bar, go underneath of it with the, um, and after a purl you don't have to change your needle around, so you can go purl right into a knit. So we're going to go underneath the bar and pull, and grab the, the horizontal bar with the crochet hook and pull it through and you've just done a knit and you can tell it's knit because it has two legs and no noose. Okay, so in order to do the next purl stitch you have to pull your crochet hook out and take the next bar and move it over top of your loop, put the crochet hook into the back again, grab the horizontal line if I can. Sometimes it's not easy. And pull it through the loop. So now that I just made a purl stitch, see the horse, see the noose on him? I just made a purl. So now I can make a knit stitch without having to take the um, needle out. It's only a knit only following a purl is the only time you do it. Anytime you start a purl, you need to reset the whole sequence by putting the needle into the back. So I'm going underneath the bar for a knit and pulling it through. And I have one more stitch to put on here and that's going to be a purl. So again, I'm going to pick up the bar and bring it over and I'm starting to lose that one. Oh, really losing it. Just pull on it. Put the needle in through the back. Grab that bar and pull it through. Now all you have to do is put it on the needle. So you'll situate it just like you did before. You want to make sure that your right leg is facing the front, is in the front, and your left leg is in the back so that it matches all the other ones. If you put it on and it doesn't look right, it's probably twisted. And that's how you fix a um, drop stitch in garter stitch, and you can't even tell that it was even ever dropped. And it looks good on the back side too. So that's how you do it.